Should I fix my hair, chat? <laughs> Hello and welcome to what is hopefully my final attempt at completing GTA 5 without taking any damage. I have a max HP of 1, so any damage from any source will immediately kill me. I also want this to be no hit run, so Trevor's special ability is disabled. Because, while it stops you from taking damage, you do still get hit by things. I have successfully completed every single mission without taking any damage, I just haven't done it all in one go. My current personal best for an entire run is one bit of damage and therefore one death. Uh, obviously very close to a perfect run, so I'm hoping this time this will finally be the run where I actually get through and take no damage at all. So Brad and Michael are my human shields, shoot everyone in the face, get them all in cars so they can't shoot me. Of course there's always two guys who aren't in cars. Locks my line of sight a little bit here, that's not very good. He died? Didn't get a second flash though. Okay. Jumping because I don't want to run out of stamina, considering I have only one HP. Alrighty then. Just skipping across the snow here to avoid the roadblock down there with the cops. They've only shot me once, but that's enough. Can I beat the train? No, I can't. Okay, grab my gun without being shot, because I did do that that one time. Just gonna shoot this guy in the head. He's not there. There he is. Shoot this guy in the shins. Another one. Will the third come? Any day now. Thank you. Shoot this, open this. Let Lamar kill this guy. So we can get this guy here quickly. Is that... Is he not coming? Hello? That was weird. Oh, what a shot. This guy is right there, man. Move to the right or to the left. Move somewhere. Ah, oh, god damn it. Ready? Eh, it's all good. He has been burning for quite a while. You okay, man? Clearly an alcoholic, chat. Baba asshole. Do I have any bad jokes? I would like to argue I have the monopoly on bad jokes. My jokes are the baddest around. And relative to my jokes, everyone else's are good. And therefore I have the monopoly on bad jokes. <laughs> Including this one. <laughs> what are my graphic settings? They're the best graphic settings. Just go into your settings and select the best. And uh, it'll replicate my settings. Simeon, don't kill my run. It is so young and has so much promise. Didn't even try for it. Thank you, Uncle Simeon. <laughs> I kick him in the face as a thank you. So, grabbing myself an Uzi, as I always do, to help me with the jet ski guys. They always get a few shots off. Wait, where, where's where, what? Why is the weapon not appearing? Okay, well I can I can purchase the invisible weapon. That is perfectly acceptable as long as it gives it to me. I have not seen this bug before. Weird. Uh, I'm also getting myself a suppressor for this to help me with this setup for the Jewel Heist later. That's really weird. Oh, okay, it's appeared now. Yeah, whatever you reckon, man. Thank you for the invisible gun. Okay. Here we go. Please do not ruin my run. Perfect. Flawless. That shot though that went straight in front of me made me a little bit nervous. But again, I think as long as I break immediately, he can't actually shoot me. His shots will always go past me. Jimmy! So as always, I'm doing the smart setup for the jewel store heist because I can do it without getting the cops on me, which is much easier than doing carbine rifles. 
Okay, don't want to go too close here. Stealth. Speedy stealth. Boop. I like the implication of what that guy is talking about, because it sounds like he's going to be infecting houses with bugs before he goes to get rid of them. Surely that's a scam that has actually existed in real life. So I need to shoot this guy when I activate the mission. If I do it too early, I'll get the cops. I got the cops. I'm gonna die. Uh, I think it was because I missed a bunch of shots. That was awkward. Haven't done that in a long time. Fortunately, it's one star. And the cops will be a million miles away. So I shouldn't have too many troubles. I did have troubles that one time a bajillion years ago. Why was that? Maybe I was just bad. I do do that sometimes. Be bad. More like all the time, Matt. Ha 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 ha. Shut up, chat. Okay. No problem at all. Yeet. So, taking all the money so that I can buy myself a car for legal trouble and also afford all the car upgrades that I need throughout the run for both Michael and Franklin. Well, if I kill the customers, then the customers would die. That's what the word kill means. Surprise you need this explained to you. See, look. Dead person. So, as always, I take my little custom route here to avoid the police, but unfortunately I have to cross a street where I can still be shot. So I use the character swap button, holding it down, which I call an, an alt strat. It makes the game run really slow and have trouble loading in assets, such as guns and bullets, which makes it less likely that I'm going to be shot. I can still be shot, but it is obviously less common. The downside, of course, things move very slow. It's hard to drive. I can still die to melee hits. I can't shoot my own weapon. Uh, can't move my camera. But of course, makes things more safe in a handful of spots, so it makes sense to use. Speed run route. Let's not fail hitting this guard. Okay. Did he fire his gun there? I think sometimes he fires his gun when he dies. One day that will hit me, and it will be very sad. So here, three guards spawn. I don't have time to kill all three. I only have time to kill one. So I switch to ult strat immediately after killing that guy. You'll see the two guys that I can't kill when I switch to Michael here. When I become Michael, I immediately move into first person and duck. This causes me to merge into my seats. It's just a quirk with how the game handles first person mode. This means there's less of me to shoot. Even with this new camera quirk though, well, it's not new, but this weird camera quirk, I can still be shot at this part here, so I'm going to use alt strut again. In the vast majority of cases where I use alt strat, it is far more likely that I don't get shot than that I do. But if there's any possibility of being shot, it still just makes sense to use alt strat. Why not make things just that little bit more safe, you know? One guy on the left here can potentially shoot me too. The glass on my left is now broken, suggesting that a bullet did fly somewhere near me. But we're home free. It's all good. How do you do the Polito heist? Did you happen to... Okay. Weird. So I'm not doing long stretch right now. Instead, I'm skipping it and going to do Mr. Phillips, Trevor's first mission. The reason I do this is so that Franklin uh, can unlock more weapons by the time that I do long stretch. Obviously, the more weapons Franklin has unlocked, the easier the mission will be. So I'm grabbing myself a sniper rifle from the map because it really helps me on Mr. Phillips. I can't buy it because it's not unlocked yet. And I need 20 bullets, so I have to pick it up twice from the map. Mine. Come on. Now. N now. See, there you go. Perfect. Exactly on time. My internal clock is just perfect. I have more viewers than Dakota. Which one, north or south? 
<laughs> yeah. Nobody laughed except Matt. Hey, hey, there was some lols in chat. They were probably pity lols, but but they were lols nonetheless. So rather than spawning the enemies here like you're meant to, I go down here to park my car. And as I talked about before with the camera, cameras and all that stuff, uh, when you're in first person and you stealth, uh, it looks like, you know, you can't see over the top of here. But when you aim down the side of your sniper rifle, you can see perfectly over the top. This is because it's putting your sniper rifle above your head. Uh, so I'm in cover here, but I can still shoot everyone. But the main thing that makes this easier is the buffered ledge grab. Uh, I can warp myself out of their range so quickly that they can't shoot me. Watch the entrance, boys. No one leaves without my express permission. It took their time so long that I wasn't prepared for them to spawn. <laughs> There's a biker here, uh, I'm just gonna ignore him because he drives away and despawns. Would take no effort to shoot him, but this is still technically safer. I move my car into the exact same thing with the rest of the guys. It's very fortunate that these two guys here never move. If they did, it would make this a lot more awkward. It's bloody hitbox of this car though. Beautiful. Easy. Just gotta wait for Wade to get back in the car and then for him to leave the car again. So here on Trevor Philip Industries, it is a somewhat concerning mission because there's a chance that I can be shot while throwing grenades out the window. But even with that tiny risk, Grenades are still the safer strategy that I have for dealing with all the guys at the beginning. Extended mag here is also important. So I shoot out the window with my gun to make it so that hopefully the glass doesn't stop my grenade. Good. Took his time to die. Easy. Textbook. So rather than going into Nervous Run, I am going to go get myself some C4 from the map so that I can use it to help me blow up a van. Even with the C4, the van does not like to explode. Uh, but the C4 does seem to help a little bit. But it Oh, shit. Right, I gotta kill those guys. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, so like on Mr. Phillips, I outdistance all the enemies and I shoot them as they come towards me. This can be a little bit scary because it's sometimes hard to find every one of the guys. Oh, he's in there. Gonna run out of bullets here. Um, so always worried about one guy sneaking there. Ah, shit. Okay, so there's one more in here. Easy. Scary, but easy. So this rock here, this line here and then here, and, uh, blow up the van that arrives here. So what happens with this van is it, it seems to register all forms of damage as one damage. So this is just five damage. 
uh, which does seem to help explode the van sometimes, but not a heap. Like, it doesn't take the explosive damage of the C4. It's very strange. The biggest concern I have, though, is two guys that spawn down here. There's one guy who spawns there, who can shoot me before I can shoot him. And there's a guy who spawns behind this van as well, who can shoot me before I shoot him. Here's something really funny for you guys. I receive a message every single day. No joke. Every single day. Sometimes people think themselves so creative and so genius that they'll send me the same message on every social media. They'll even screenshot their messages and then send it to me, like on Twitter and shit. They were like, hey Matt, since you have C4, why don't you like blow up these guys with the C4 as well? I'm so smart. As if like I wouldn't think of that. Like, like I have the C4, I'm going to that effort. And, and like I never would have made the connection between putting C4 with these guys as well. Like, how dumb do you have to think I am? And how creative do you have to think yourself to send me that message? The C4 despawns, my dudes. It despawns, like, after this point or something. Please stop sending me those messages. Please. I beg of you. Here's a little bit of ult strat here. Oh, that shot. You see that shit? So I can't shoot these vans too early, or they roll and the guys jump out and stuff. It's very awkward. Nice. That was very clean. Very clean. So here I have to use alt strat. Although I'm using a controller, so I guess it'd be down, uh, down D-pad strat. There's a handful of bikers here who have guns and they can violate old strat in that they can fire through it sometimes. So I have to angle the back of my plane in the direction of the guys with the guns. So if they do fire, they can't get an angle to hit me. This guy's a lot closer than he normally is. It's kind of scary. Not gonna lie. He's back. Oh, two at once! God damn. It's okay. That, that, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was good. I, 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 I thought I was a lot further away than that. I knew I was high enough that I probably wasn't going to get hit, but I probably could have kept that on a little bit longer. What everyone is a government plant. You know too much. So moving into Crystal Maze here. Fortunately, the beginning of the mission has an interesting effect where you're unable to get the police. This enables me to go to the military base and grab myself both a minigun and a tank. The minigun I use way later, but I use it before it unlocks from the store, so getting it now is just beneficial. Uh, but the tank I use both on Crystal Maze and then on a handful of other missions throughout the run, uh, mainly uh, Lamar Down and military hardware. So it's just easier to get the minigun first. Easy. It's weird that the minigun is so close to the door, like you pick it up without even seeing it. Yeah, so it's important that I grab this away from other enemies, because while the enemies won't shoot me normally, they can shoot me when I'm stealing the tank. Bye bye That hatch closed, closed kind of slow there. I was kind of concerned that I was going to get clips. Once again, tank versus hillbillies. Who will win? This battle of the titans. I do still remember how annoying this mission was before I realized I could use a tank on it. So it is still somewhat satisfying just to kill these guys easily. That was quite a bounce. There's one guy stuck out the back. You can see him there. See him in there? Oh, there's two. Get your own fucking business. 
Still another one? Hopefully the fire gets him because I have no idea where he is. Is there still two more inside? There's still two more. Aha. Is that it? As long as Trevor has stopped speaking, then I know everyone's dead. How did I find it, guys? How did I find the cook site? I am some kind of fierce wizard. Okay. So of course I keep my tank and I store it at the airfield so that I can use it for those future missions as I mentioned before. I don't think it's ever failed to store here before, but I'm always concerned it's going to fail. Honestly, I'm not even sure why this mission is included in the uh, the episode on YouTube. Because I haven't failed this in a bajillion years. Like, the only way I really fail this is if I uh, screw myself by driving through rather than being stealthy. I guess there is a possibility, hypothetically, of failure, so I guess it still belongs, but... Why am I jumping so much? Because I don't have stamina. You your business, I did. Yeah. Uh, 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 those enemies on the map always are uh, kind of concerning, but doesn't seem to be a problem. Shaven Matt? I have never shaved. Here we are for Dead Man Walking. Can this just, can this just not be a dick to me once? I do not want to end up having to hold ults for 50 bajillion years. What tends to happen is the helicopter spawns in a bad spot. What I really should do is shoot the four guys, wait until I lose the cops, and then get in the car. Uh, like, it depends where the helicopter spawns as to whether I have enough time for that. It's boop time. Boop. The nice little spin there. Look at those fucking shots, dude. These guys are more dangerous when they're dead. Ah. There's a guy who spawns in here. Having trouble finding the door again? Good job. And this guy? Is he gonna come out? Pick your side, my dude. Fuck you, Fuck you too, buddy. Get this guy's SMG. Where is he? Hello? Took his time. I can't miss these shots. Okay. So where is this helicopter? It's, it's like two feet away from me. But how long does it hover there? Oh. It's like two feet away from there. Oh, that fuck, it's right. There's five fucking there. Yeah, there's, there's no way. I could have waited. 
Uh, I may have made a tactical error here with this uh, camera angle. I can't even move it with first person. Uh, the camera will eventually reorient itself, right? Because I don't want to have to drive out of here backwards. Yeah, there we go. At least it's behind me, but I'm not sure how long that will last. Not gonna make it. Not gonna make it! Uh, I made it. This helicopter 100% about to shoot. Oh god, this angle is terrible. I can feel that bullet hitting my spine. Okay, better angle. My thumb hurts, chat. They don't tell you that this will occur when you uh, do no damage runs. Should be A-OK -okay now. Still haven't lost the cops, finally. Okay, and then there's a cop immediately in front of me. Not ideal. But I don't have a specific spot that I need to go to, so it's not a huge problem to avoid the cops. Like in speedruns, the cops will make you tear your hair out because every time one spawns in front of you, you know, you lose time immediately. But no damage, it's like, ah, well, I'll just go the other way. It's fine. Easy. Okay, that wasn't really easy, but it was, it was actually very nerve-wracking, but I succeeded, is what I mean to say. So here we go with Three's Company. The only real scary part here is the helicopter at the end. Uh, I have had it shoot me as it falls down, even while holding ults. I used to switch to Trevor to avoid the possibility of Franklin being shot, but I found out that I can be hit while switching, and while it doesn't cause damage, it technically violates the no-hit portion of this run, so I'm just risking it now staying as Franklin and uh, using ult strat to dodge that 1% chance or whatever. Either that or just shoot down the helicopter really early, so it's uh, out of my range. Easier said than done, though. I gotta get it in one or two bullets. Here we go. So there's one guy on the helicopter because one fell out, fell off. Surely he's too low to hit me now. Okay. Three shots ain't bad, and uh, none of these guys can hit me. Or at least they never have. Uh, so I should be safe now. Nice. I got it very quickly. If I had let that go a little bit further, it would have gotten too far away and I couldn't get it down. Not that that really matters, but it would have meant it took me longer. That was very good. It was very clean. Have I ever spelled... No, have I ever misspelled Dark Viper AU as Dick Viper AU? No. Those words aren't even close. That That's two letters difference, and they're not even similarly uh, placed on the keyboard. What a weird question. So, time for Franklin, doing assassination, then long stretch, and then hood safari. I, of course, grab Franklin every weapon under the sun and upgrade his main vehicle. I would like some more mundane heists for GTA 6, like committing tax fraud. You sit in a chair and you uh, fill in details in your tax records incorrectly. That will give you a slightly greater deduction. Uh, I saw pink. Technically, pink was the first that I saw. Fister. I like it. Fister. I hardly know her. <laughs> I'm not sorry. <laughs> it's funny Lamar and Stretch coming in here, expecting me just to buy a, a flashlight for the weapon. I'm sitting here buying, like, an entire arsenal of stuff. Like, oh, Frank, are you all right, man? Like, do you, do you really need that much stuff? Did I... N I didn't get the flashlight for the shotgun. I didn't get the one thing that the game requires me to get. 
Rockstar, look, it's clear that I know how to use the ammunition, okay? So this first room can be done by stretching Lamar, but I do help a bit by shooting people in the corner. Ah, right in the heart. <laughs> Just pushing his body. That's fucking cold. So move forward and trigger these two to move. Did I, did I not get him? Oh, there we go, okay. Right there. There we go. So move down the trigger Lamar to move. I need to not shoot open these doors. Oh. Almost didn't get around that corner. Did I get them all? Think so? Get going, Lamar. I believe in you. Because I can't help him in here. I can only kill this guy here. Back in the day, uh... I didn't do the other rooms as fast, so Stretch and Lamar would have a chance to die in this room. But because I do those other areas much faster now, Stretch and Lamar have much more HP, so there's no real risk of them dying here. Wow, he's been playing for three and a half hours and he's only up the long stretch? What a bitch. It's true. So it looks like there's only one left, so I move in with ults. I've never seen anyone violate ult here before, at least not while I'm running in like this. What was that flickering? Weird lighting? Okay. Get him! Oh, don't. They, they all got there. That's, that's sometimes bad. No, they seem to be standing up, so we should be good. Sometimes they'll stay permanently stuck down. Okay, perfect. Good. Good. There's two more. Kill him! Did you get him? I heard an oof. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So, to avoid a potential bug for Lamar and Stretch, I'm gonna spawn this last person. Throw C4 first. And move forward with ults. They shouldn't be able to shoot fast enough to be able to hit me, even through ults, but... Why not be, just be cautious, you know? He <laughs> slowly gets thrown back. Okay. How have I never noticed that light before? I've, I've literally never noticed that before. Huh. Weird. Okay, uh, so need to trigger this and move back immediately. What am I stuck against? Okay. Did I get it? Oh. Did I not get it? Uh, I think I spawned it, but it didn't move. Okay, there we go. So normally Lamar and Stretch are out there already. Got it anyway, okay. I'm always concerned because they aren't out there to distract it that uh, I'll have some problems. So, uh, I'm not going to shoot down this helicopter. This helicopter can't shoot at me, and I think by leaving it alive, it makes it so the other helicopter won't spawn. So I'll move up here to get the dot. Wait for these two guys to get up. Watch out, low. Then I go get my car. In testing, what it did was, uh, like, the helicopter would just become a normal helicopter and fly away. Like, it wouldn't even try to chase me. 
I think because it detects that it doesn't have any shooters in its helicopter section, so it will just uh, fly away, which is what often happens when you uh, shoot the uh, other people out of helicopter. Ah, uh, that actually spawned quicker than normal. Interesting. Why isn't he dying? Okay. Yeah, you can see the other the other helicopter didn't spawn, and that helicopter's just flying away. Yeah, so it works. I'm a genius. And now for the much more annoying Hood Safai. So at the beginning here, there's a tiny, tiny chance that I can be shot, and there's nothing I can do about it. But it's extraordinarily rare. Uh, I do need to put on Alt Strat as soon as possible, though. Okay. Run away! Run away! So, the thing about this mission is if I don't help Trevor and Lamar, one of them will die. But the more I help them, the more risk I put myself into. So you need to balance uh, helping them and uh, the risk against myself. They cleared the first part fairly quickly, and none of the enemies have come to harass me down here. I need to always be watching the map to make sure no one's uh, sneaking up on me. There's this one guy who's really close to them both. I don't know why he isn't dead yet. Finally. I still think it's worth chucking these grenades. The Trevor flashing here is not him low HP, it's him just being in this particular scene. Um, so there's only some angles that I can shoot free aim like this. You shot at me, though. That was mildly concerning. I can't shoot that guy at the tree. Kill him, Lamar! He's not even in cover! I could pop out and kill him. That's really tempting. Fuck. Ah. It's a little bit more risky than I should have been. Okay, should not be doing that. Should not be doing that. He's directly shooting at me, you see? Ah, fuck me dead. Don't do that. Don't. Trevor should have killed this guy in front of him like 50 times over by now. I've n I fucking knew Lamar was gonna die because he didn't kill that fucking guy at the tree for 57 fucking years. Oh, let's try it again. Those bullets scare the fuck out of me every time. Let's try again, Lamar. How about you kill the guy who has literally no cover that's two feet away from you? A fucking amazing strategy. The reason why Lamar died there, though, was just because of that one guy that it, they didn't kill for, like, seven years. Remember how I was commenting, like, why is that guy not dead yet? It was concerning how many people actually shot at Franklin last time. It's not normal. There's no one over there harassing Lamar this time. Oh my god, you see that shot that flew over my head? It shit ain't normal. Anyone at this angle, I actually have to pop up to shoot. Oh my god, Trevor's moving up this quickly? The fuck, son? That's not good. Ah, dangerous, dangerous. Oh, we're at this point where... Yeah, switch, so switching to Trevor is what I do now. It heals him, and then I switch back to Franklin. Oh, they shot me just then. Ah, oh, why are they shooting at me? Stop it! Oh, Lamar's moving up too. That's good. The guys who are really far back likely can't shoot me. Oh, Trevor didn't move up. What the fuck? Uh, 
Uh, why is there a guy directly in front of Trevor, but Trevor isn't killing him? There's some fucked up shit. Fuck. Yeah, it's just this- it's just this one guy who's bugged with Trevor. This- Did he get him? I hear Trevor shooting. I think we're good, but uh... Trevor is not normally there. So I'm concerned I've missed something. That should be okay. That was very weird, but we succeeded, so can't complain. There will be an intentional fail here. This warps my friends to me. And then I throw C4 on Lamar's jet ski so I can blow him up and despawn the cops. Do that C4 as fast as possible. So I've got a black arrow here, so they shouldn't lock onto me. This is all mainly precaution. I don't think the police have ever actually shot me here, but it's just, you know, they can, hypothetically. They have shot at me before, but they haven't ever shot me. Okay. Oh. I just ult tabs. Not ideal. So shoot these guys here. Okay. And now for the really hard part. I guess it's not hard these days, it's just scary. I just barely move into their range to shoot them and then immediately leave their range. Okay. Okay, let's hope for no cop or helicopter shenanigans. Ah, uh, you see that bullet there? There was a bullet. Ah, uh, there's, there's a helicopter spawn. Doesn't look like it's near me though. Okay, looks like we're sweet. Hello, Mr. Whales. Whales don't have fins. Why do you why do you turn my stream into a den of lies? Come on. All whales have fins. I am a marine biologist. Obviously. Whales are mammal mammals? Your mum's a mammal. The channel description really undersells my channel. What should it read? The maddest sick cunt Aussie around doing his GTA shenanigans. Awesome. Bro. Is that better? <laughs> uh, what about damage from crashing? One last time. I am not a car. That may not seem obvious immediately, but it's true. I am not an automobile. I am a real boy. If my car takes damage, I do not take damage. We are separate entities. This isn't some sort of a Transformers kind of game. Yes, immediate disappointment. What, you're not a Transformer? I subbed thinking you were a Transformer. False advertising. Okay, finally got these setups out of the way. Now we got Meriwether and Blitzblade back to back. So I usually say going into Meriwether Highest that the strats here make this a piece of cake, but I did fail recently on this mission. So I will treat it with all the seriousness that it deserves. The strats are good, but I can still fail. It's always scary how he takes off like that. So this section's completely trivial. Because I can just switch to Franklin and snipe everyone. This section has no risk because there's a max range of weapons that are not snipe rifles. Well, there's technically a max range for sniper rifles as well, but it's just, like, much, much higher than every other weapon. So even if these guys, for whatever reason, detected me and wanted to fire back, they wouldn't be able to reach me. Yeah. So the line is, like, here. Anyone back past that can't shoot me. Uh, I don't think I reloaded with Franklin. Okay. Now, a mistake I made last time is using this heat sensor. I don't think it helps me. It gives me a false impression of whether my shots are going to hit. Here's the door. Going in. So I will ignore these guys here because they're too far away. And with the cars, I need to make sure that I don't shoot the driver. Which is actually harder than you might think. Charge. 
match. Perfect. It is so much easier without the heat sensor. Of course, I still use it to check if a person's dead, but that's all I was using it for that. Okay. So, I'm fine now, because the rest of these guys that spawn up here are too far away to shoot me. There was some pretty nice shooting. I, I got no complaints there. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm just doing really fucking well today. Will I have kids? Let me just gaze into my crystal ball and divine the future. Outcome unclear. I keep doing that. I keep mix, mixing up a magic eight ball and a crystal ball. So we really finna do this shit. We really finna gonna do this shit. I don't think I've been hit on blitz playing quite a while, but it's always still a scary mission. It's funny how the, that guy dies immediately, but this guy takes a while. Okay. There are specific spots you should throw these to have them optimally destroy these cars, but it doesn't really matter for my purpose. All that matters for me is just switching to Trevor as soon as possible. Okay. So I need to kill like one guy here to have the helicopter spawn. Got him. Gotta watch carefully here to make sure no one's climbing up to kill me. Ah, uh, that guy might be climbing up. Yeah, I got one guy climbing up, that sucks. Herbie climbs up quickly. Is he coming or...? Hey, he didn't- ah, fucking hell. Oh, he died. Okay, good. So awkward. What? Am I one guy short? What? Um, normally it progresses at this point. I guess I need another one of the um, news guys. The news guys are closer this way. These guys will just keep respawning. They don't matter. Ah, uh, this is awkward. Hopefully I can get this guy down here. Got him. So I need three guys here. And the snipers. I just need a couple of guys in the corridor here. A car spawns, usually getting them's enough. This will spawn the helicopter. And because that helicopter's dead, now Michael and Franklin can kill people themselves. And they'll clear everyone except three guys, and then it will force me to switch. Ah, oh, there's a guy behind. Oh, no, you got him. Okay. Ah. He's, he's running towards Franklin. He's just right there. Yeah, I'm just going to ult strat here. Maybe I should have just shot him. Like, I don't know what was safer, risking that he was going to shoot Trevor or risking that he might violate ult and shoot Franklin. I've never seen a guy violate ult here, so it just seemed safer to use ult. The two cops aren't even in positions to be able to shoot me. Okay. So we are halfway now, guys. Well, effectively halfway. I consider this the halfway mark. I'm always worried that I'm going to lose a run crossing the street. It'd be the most devastating thing. Completely unnecessary damage and me just, like, walking into a car. I mean, it was bad enough in Meriwether Heist that one time, but... Outside of the mission would be even worse. Hello, Rocco. I mean, this guy ain't Rocco, but th this guy's Rocco. 
Don't screw me, man. Thank you. I actually tried to swing that. He was, he was gonna have a go at it. But unfortunately, I am just too good at pressing the Q button. I am unstoppable. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Realistically, you would think they'd have a mechanic so that the NPC would attempt to push you off him or something. You know? Ha <laughs> ha! What a wonderful surprise! Ha <laughs> ha! It's a thing. You said you wanted work. It's a thing? No way! I like things. I like guys. I like turtles. Oh no, I just realized deep inside's coming up. Shit. You finally caught me live? Well, I'm happy you didn't catch me dead. <laughs> I've made that joke a hundred times. <laughs> so here on Deep Inside, well, we're about to go Deep Inside, but I, there's a new strategy for it, and I failed it once and it cost me a run. I'll focus this time. I know what I'm meant to do. Hopefully I won't fail it this time. I won't fail it, will I, Chop? Will I? Chop believes in me. Unlike you guys. Oh no, the door won't work. Whatever am I gonna do? Wait, that's illegal. <laughs> no, it isn't. I don't want it to be illegal. Therefore, it isn't. That's the way it works. I'm not even going to explain what I'm doing because it might distract me. I really think I put on alt strat way too early here, but I'm always just too nervous to hold off a little bit longer. I don't think these guys have ever violated alt strat. Like, ever. Ah, uh, my friend, I'm sorry. I did not choose your face. This is Rockstar's doing. Keep him with me. I can get the second one too. No, he's falling off. Here is your friend. Wow. It's pretty spectacular. So the guard is further on the right this time, which is good. That's going to make it so uh, I can more easily hit him with my car. I need to hit this guy so that I can take off old strat early than I normally do. Oh, he's diving out of the way. Ah, uh, no. Okay, we're well, going to hit him anyway. Uh, don't hit the wall. Don't hit the wall. Don't hit the wall. Thank you. Uh, considering where he was diving, he'll probably be fine regardless. Because he wouldn't be able to get up and shoot me anyway. So I get up and over here... So, I stop the car, get out, so she gets out, get in the car. Now... So I turn and look exactly this way, so they spawn underneath me. And then I look this way. Um, keep them in sight. So they can't... Teleport. And they both despawn. Good. Perfect. Easy. Bloody textbook. So if you don't understand what happened there, basically I was looking at the point where they're meant to spawn. And, but they had to spawn because I triggered them to spawn. So the only place they could spawn is on the freeway underneath me. And because I kept looking at them, they couldn't rubber band or uh, disappear and reappear closer to me as they normally are meant to because they're not allowed to do that while you're looking at them. So they had to drive normally along the freeway and the only way to get out of the freeway is to drive in the opposite direction to me and because they drove away from me, they they drove so far away that they despawned and it counted as me um, having lost them. To be clear, I didn't find that strat. It was sent to me. Uh, I can't remember the name of the person who sent to me though, but I, I do appreciate them sending it to me. As I said, I knew it was always possible to find a better strat, but I never went to the effort because I had never had any issues with Deep Inside before. And then I finally had issues, and so I was going to look for a new strat, but then someone sent me one, so there was no reason to. Which is kind of sad, really, but... And now for Minor Turbulence. Oh no. I don't want to do Minor Turbulence chat. Why me? So here at the beginning of Minor Turbulence, I go buy myself a Combat MG. Because it's a very large weapon that has a lot of bullets. I am pretty sure that its additional mass can prevent bullets from hitting me. 
but even if that's not true, it's still very advantageous to have the gun because it has, you know, 100 bullets before it needs to reload. So I don't want to have to use it, but I will be using ult strat when I'm going into the plane because one time during practice I got shot by a bullet. Oh. It's very hard to fly like this. Oh, this really hurts to hold my hand like this. Okay. Oh, no. Ah! I already had the weapon out. I hesitated. I, I, I shuffled needlessly to the weapon. The guy wasn't firing his gun. So I went to take the shot, and the second that I popped up to take the shot, he fired. He's not firing, he's not firing, he's not firing, he's not firing, he's not firing. The second I pop up, he starts firing. He shot me! Did he shoot me through the box? He shot me through the box? Or is it there? Is that it? What is this? My hand's back here. It may it's possible that even though it look, even though it visually is being blocked by this, maybe it still counts as it going through and hitting my hand. So I guess I'll start again, chat. Well, well, well. Here we are again for imminent failure. Everyone's favorite chat. I have four bullets. Apparently that's all I needed. I blocked my line of sight because I'm dumb. What did I just say, chat? What did I just say? This is a pretty poor start to the run right now. Not doing things very well, but that's okay, chat. All that matters is that I succeed. Let's not care about how I look doing it. This isn't a fashion contest, unfortunately, because I would fucking win that contest so well. That was quite fashionable. I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about, chat. <laughs> Seeing that for the hundred and ninth time, that was some real good shit. Oh boy, wonderful. I mean, we criticize Rockstar for making it so we can't skip the cutscenes scenes in prologue. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I think I've changed my tune. I think I criticize them for not forcing us to watch every cutscene. Because imagine how much of my life I could have spent watching that cutscene before now, if Rockstar had just been smart enough to make all cutscenes unskippable. Really a missed opportunity there. Shoot this guy in the shins. Duck down, dude. Thank you. One more. I don't think you will. Thank you. Don't think I am. Well, you didn't. He stopped. Why did he stop? That was rude. See in the side here somewhere. Oh, the second I look away, he comes back. Can uh, you do it again? Huh? 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 Uh. I was so slow there that Lamar actually had time to kill someone. Why is this guy still burning? Is this a bug or something? I swear this wasn't a thing back in the day. He's really hot, chat. Ha 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 ha. Ah. That lonely ass. Is your ass lonely, chat? <laughs> your ass should never be lonely, chat, because it's got two cheeks. Get it? Get it? Bye! <laughs> okay, Matt, that's the last draw. Wait, Tiny got knocked over? Oh, she can't get in! Oh my god! What's really funny about this happening now is that my shitty joke has to be included now. Because without my shitty joke, Tanya being knocked over won't make any sense. 
<laughs> Tanya getting hit by that car guaranteed the inclusion of my shitty joke. What is your opinion on Queen Elizabeth II being the Queen of Australia? Good for her. I'm sure she worked very hard to get into that role. Uh, I'm sure she had a lot of competition. I'm sure the best woman won. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to say? I won't be like that. Good job. You think you could take me for a ride? If only there was a way to do Michael's rapid fast kick reliably, because it's actually quite fast. You Easy. I want to make the argument, chat, that I'm quite good at beating up old people. I think it's an underrated skill that people kind of sleep on, that they don't really respect me for. Oh! So they are not meant to spawn. Obviously. So... Okay. Um... My plan was to run away. But they... got within range of me. I'm assuming shot uphill perfectly into my back with one shot. The only shot that they took. I fucking hate this game. And now, we have to fucking start again! Yay! Skipping over the snow on the right here to avoid the, uh, uh roadblock down there. That was, that was a very poor turn there, but that's okay. It's fine. If it works, it's not bad. That's my philosophy, chat. I'm sure most of you are sick of this cutscene by now. Come on. Come on. You've seen it a thousand times. The meme is dead. Man, shit, it's good to be home. What's up? Can a lot come up in your crib? Man, fuck you. I see you at work. Oh, nigga, don't hate me because I'm beautiful, nigga. Maybe you got rid of that old yee-yee ass haircut you got, you get some bitches on your dick. Oh, better yet, maybe Tanisha will call your dog ass if she ever stop fucking with that brain surgeon the lawyer she fucking with. What? What? Dark Viper AU mouthed the N word. Cancel this motherfucker immediately. It is possible that dogs with better hearing were able to hear him actually say the N word. <laughs> Our scientists have analyzed that in fact actually some sound was released from his vocal cords. I mean, he did on some level. At some frequency, say the N-word. <laughs> so grab my gun. Shoot this guy in the head. There's two guys- what? There's two guys? I've never seen two guys there before. Nice. Two guys is better than one, right? <laughs> my ladies can testify. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. Leave me alone, chat. Six bullets? What? Ah! Uh, I know what that was. May I was sitting on uh, some very particular pixel? There must be like some really particular pixel or something that you can sit on at a particular angle that it removes the stuff. Okay, well Lamar took out one of the guys in the meantime. Very strange. Like, there are spots I know of in the game that do that consistently. Like, completely random spots. Um, I think I should have won in Facts and Glitches. There's another one with, um, uh, standing on, like, leaves at this house and stuff. Um, but I've never seen it there. And I've been running this game for ages. So I actually failed here last time having these guys spawn. Uh, don't really know what I did wrong. Maybe I'm crazy. Oh, it worked now, so whatever. Oh, what the 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 what Good stuff. 
That was just very smooth. Like, I, I, got, I got no real commentary there. It's just like, well, that was textbook. I did the thing. Good job, me. I kind of parked a little bit too far away there. But that's okay. Don't need that car anyway. Just shoot this guy in the head and get myself a new car. Why do people buy cars, chat? Seems kind of silly when you can just take cars off the street. <laughs> I say the same thing here every single time. Where <laughs> to, to get this without getting the cops, I need to shoot this guy after the blue dot activates. Okay. And not miss shots. Because I got the cops here recently, I think. Because uh, I missed a handful of shots because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Look at that flip. Um, oh, I was pressing E here because I was as if I was taking the picture. God damn it. So, as always, I uh, get all the money in here to buy myself a car and stuff later. Also pays for various different weapons and car upgrades and whatnot. Did you guys know that money can be exchanged for goods and services? It's true. These are the facts that you can only learn on the Dark Viper AU stream. Get the money? What? What? Is it bugs? It says there's a case right here. I, weird, I've never seen that before in my life. Weird. This web website I'm on says that there are cougars in my area. Are these the same ones you're worried about? No, those are good cougars. Feel free to seek those out. Maybe not from their website though. <laughs> oh, the bug happened again. Weird. Well, this is even this is e an even weirder bug. What the fuck? I don't know what's causing this. It's the second time that's happened now. So I shoot out the glass in the hope that it doesn't screw with my first grenade. It missed. It missed. It missed. Oh, I'm happy they all still hung around. How did that grenade miss? It must have been like a frame off. Okay. Easy. Well, I mean, I did miss that grenade, but like nothing bad happened and therefore it is easy. Shot him right in the foot. Hello? The van hasn't spawned. Hello? There, okay, well, took a sweet ass fucking time. Yep, bad things happen, chat. There was at least two guys alive. Oh, there is one. There's still at least two guys alive. What's gonna happen is a guy is gonna sneak through here or sneak through there and scare the fuck out of me. Wherever this guy is, I'm too far back to trigger him to move. Okay, let's just move forward a little bit. This is weird, chat. This is the worst this has ever been. I've said that before, but I think this is actually the worst. I'm actually moving so far forward, I'm gonna trigger the guy who's actually inside. There he is. I told ya! Fucking told you he was gonna come around there, the cheeky bastard. So if I move forward enough, this guy in here moves as well. What? Come on, man. Get I'm really far forward. How is he not moving? Okay, now I'm scared. The fuck? He's always in there. Go, Every single run, there's been one guy in there who's come out when I've moved forward. I'm actually moving close enough now that he could actually shoot me. Okay. That was really strange. It's actually daytime now. That took me so long. Does this guy use a little bit of ult strat? I think it helps. Okay. This guy here just dies every time. Go. 
good. Nice. I didn't even need to, need to use the C4. That was perfect. That was pixel perfect. This is weird. Oh. This is a bike. I, usually I see a biker with a gun. I have not seen him thus far. And that guy isn't holding a gun. Am I actually going to hit him? No. Dang. Yeah, I'm pretty sure like in every single run I've seen a, a biker come close with a gun. I just, he's not there this time. Weird. How do you fast forward a stream? <laughs> if only. If only. Just thinking about it, that's not a very good metal detector. Because I'm carrying quite a bit of metal. Unless, of course, wherever I store my weapons is in some pocket dimension that is actually not on my person. What is with this guy fucking challenging a tank every time? But get out of it, dude. Oh. Did he die? What? He's still going. What? He has no wheels. What? There was a lot of weird things that happened in this run. So there's been three now, and it's only been two hours. Okay. Burn, you disrespectful pricks. Yeah, don't get into the tank. I think if I get into it too early, it actually despawns, but... Okay. Another easy run. Uh, easy mission. Just throw these C4 and I'm done. If anything, this polish shouldn't be in the YouTube video, because it's so easy and I haven't failed it in a thousand years, but... It still ends up there anyway. I mean, it should be there, because I technically can die and fail. And someone who's watching it the first time might be like, But how did he, how did he sneak around all those difficult bikers? That was it not in the YouTube video because, like, he failed it? And he just, he's just hiding that information from me? No. It's just, it's just a very lame mission. Rex. Davey. How you doing? About as good as can be expected. Well, we got That's my Dave impression. Was pretty good. Like or basically all of them. Oh, there's another guy. Well, I'm very happy he uh, doesn't fire immediately when he comes through the door. That was a mistake on my part. Shot him right in the dick, dude. Completely unnecessary. I've kind of given up the idea that this helicopter will ever spawn in a place where I can actually do the strat here correctly. The helicopter is actually kind of far away now. Maybe this will be fine. Nope, it's right there. It is right there. That is unfortunate. So we're gonna ult strat our way out of here, which is always really scary. Because the helicopter will fire at least one bullet. Keep in mind, if you want to use ult strat yourself with your game, you have to have your distance scaling set to very low, or it is less effective. Hey Matto, can I ask you a question? My dude, if you just asked the question, I would have seen it. Now there's a possibility I won't see the question when you ask it. Unless that was your question, then mission accomplished. Hey, look at that guy. The car didn't spawn. What the hell? Oh, he was giving me the finger! What a dick! Ah, oh my god, no! No! I just thought for a second, like, wait a second, if his car didn't spawn in, then other cars might not be spawning in. I should probably change camera angle to, to get everything to spawn in. <laughs> I'm fortunate, once again, that it is quite hard to take damage while driving a car. <laughs> but now my progress is completely fucked here. God damn it. Now I'm not going to lose the cops. And two cops have spawned in as well. <sighs> Guess we're going to be in alt strat for an even longer chat. Yay! So it should be fine now. Yeah. That was terrible. I hope I reloaded with Franklin now. Ideally, I would get this down in one shot. 
I didn't reload, fuck. It's terrible. Okay. So now we just have to hope that alt strat isn't violated here. Because despite that that's a helicopter falling from the sky, those guys can shoot, still shoot and they can kill me. And they have shot through alt strat at least once. I used to switch to Trevor, but sometimes they would shoot and hit Franklin while I was still controlling him. I wouldn't die, but it would count as a hit. Okay, well, it's definitely fallen far enough, so we, we dodged a bullet there. Not, not really, because no bullets were fired, but, you know, figuratively speaking, we dodged a bullet. <laughs> nice, got it. Cool. Cool. I was doing the lever saying thing. <laughs> what causes this? It seems to happen, like, half the time now. Maybe again, because my... PC too strong. Look at this. It's just off the ground. But it's still registering as if I dropped it. It's weird. That guy got some air. Hey, real. Real programmer, dude. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. I hope you are doing good and your programming is uh, going along well. If you are indeed a programmer, I guess I can't assume that just because it's in your name. But thank you for supporting my content. I hope you're doing good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh! Oh, it's Pro Gamer! Oh, it doesn't have an R in it. Oh. Well, I hope your pro gaming is going well. <laughs> My bad, dude. Hey, he could be a programmer too. Let's not pigeonhole people into only being what their name encapsulates, okay? I am more things than simply a Dark Viper. Oh, oh, he's there. Uh, he spawned in a weird spot. Wait, did you see the, the guards there at the end? They weren't even running off. They just accepted it, that he was just dead. I don't think I've failed on long stretch in quite a long time, but it is still the mission, you know, where that, that, that there's always a possibility. What just happened? Again, once more reiterating, it is really hard to take damage in a car accident. But I think if I had just had a basic car there, I think I would have done me damage one more uh is he stuck he's not stuck good 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 ah! you're kidding you're, you're fuck Are you And I hit him the second he hits me Look at him Look at how close those shots are Oh my god And I hit him just as he hits me Look at how close these shots are Like I can't be more accurate than that and this, it's, it's like multiple. Because it is random spray. Like, look, 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 multiple just missing him by one frame. I am free aiming. There's nothing I can do to make this tighter. And he had one shot. There's so little of me available to hit. As he got one shot just as he got hit. That's insane. Going over the snow to avoid the roadblock guys down there. Did they actually shoot at me? Did they still shoot at me? Well, I mean, at least it puts more distance between me and them, but I guess maybe there could be some hypothetical reality where they're still able to shoot me. Like, I heard window, gl wind like, glass break there. Not that it's really a big deal, because I, I just reset and lose five minutes of my life, but... Why does everything you say, says, sound like it will go on the Clips channel? Because everything that I say is perfect gold. I am a walking machine of amazingly quotable, funny stuff. It is a curse. Not skipping cutscenes in Oko? Man, I just love the prologue cutscenes so much, like, uh, I just can't bring myself to skip it. It's like... My favorite part of the entire game. Look, the, the logo is about to appear. Look, the logo is about to appear. 
Oh, that's amazing. Woo! Yeah, GTA 5! Yeah! Ah, oh, that was amazing. All the other cutscenes can suck a dick, though, so I'll skip those. But not this one specifically. Won't, I won't skip the cutscene, guys. Won't skip it. There you go, guys. Am I not a benevolent god? <laughs> Don't know why I even bother doing that jump, really. Didn't forget that guy this time. Got him. Oh! I had to miss that one shot, didn't I? That was almost flawless. God damn. Boop. Bye bye, asshole. Do American games look upside down to me? Nah, man, we got some amazing technology in this country to uh, write things the right way. Trillions of dollars were spent on it. Major breakthroughs were made. Is Simeon going to ruin my run? I'm gonna guess no. He went for it, and my keyboard is halfway off my table. So pressing Q is actually difficult. That was close. The placement I have a keyboard on my table is just not optimal. Why do I have 5,000 viewers? I have absolutely no idea. I think they're all crazy. Do they not have something better to do? <laughs> no. <laughs> man, if I had something better to do, trust me, I wouldn't be here, man. <laughs> Alright, this hasn't failed in quite a while. Let's not start now. Uh oh, that was terrible. It, it it delayed a little bit longer than I thought, and then he bumped forward, and ah, oh, that was terrible. Like, the waves are just weird, and they'll just bump, and then they'll be 50 feet f further forward than you think they're going to be. Huh, I killed him, and he was not a bug. Wait, I, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Tried to make a joke, and I failed. Look, let's just, let's just do this again. Let's restart the run to remove my shitty joke. Because he said kill some bugs and then I killed him. Kind of like he was a bug. I don't know. Leave me alone. <laughs> I feel like a chump buying myself a uh, well, I went to the bloody store again. God damn it. Hey, look. Nice car. I, I went here specifically to show you that car. <laughs> he just leaves this case, you lazy prick. Oh, she got destroyed! Oh, man. Oh, whoa! Ah, uh, I've never seen him that close before. What the fuck? That was scary. No! I was at a bad angle. Shouldn't matter, though. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> ah. Ah. <coughs> what went down the wrong pipe? I was reading chat. I'm sorry, Floyd. Oh, it's Ron. I'm sorry. It's it's not Floyd. I'm so fucking dumb. <laughs> My bad. They serve the same purpose in the story. Okay. Look, guys, this is my first time playing. I can't expect it to know these things, okay? <laughs> You're still bans. If I ever get banned on Twitch, I hope they send me that, like, and, and I appeal my ban. I hope they still send me, uh, I hope they send me that bit of the cutscene where that woman's like, You're still banned. <laughs> that removes so little glass, what the fuck? He ran away! Oh my god, I'm dead. 100% dead. You're kidding! Oh 
I know what the fuck to do now. Let's hope I can get some of them. One's alive. Uh, Chef can kill that guy. He'll come up and Chef will kill him. He fell down the stairs. Okay, there we go. Okay. There's a guy in the back. What? The? What? The game bugs. The game bugs. The game bugs. The game bugs. It, it, all enemies in the area are meant to despawn. That that's not an enemy from the the, the mission. That's just a random guy. He 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 shouldn't be there. That he isn't a part of the mission. I don't know if that was because of the stuff that happened previously. That's that's similar to the Cougar situation we had. I have been playing this game for 8,000 hours. There has never been a biker there. Never. I have done this mission maybe a thousand times. This is the first time there has been a guy on the bike there. I guess I, because I thought about shooting him, but I was like, why is there a guy there? Like I was confused for like a solid five seconds that was enough for him to be able to shoot me with his first shot be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel it costs you nothing and i wish you all the best